Hi, welcome back to Shirai Show. I am sorry to be upset in my few um, episodes, but it's the only way I can release some of the frustration and uh, uh, distress, basically trying to get people aware of what's going on and how much I have been su suffering through this ordeal. Um, it's about fireball. Fireball is demons, and they go out creating havoc and chaos in people's lives, which they've done with mine, my life. And I'm trying to get myself back together. There's a saying, you dance with the devil. The devil doesn't change, but the devil will change you. In other words, demons, the devil, they won't change the way they are. But they would do everything in their powers to change you in a negative way. So I try to hold on to my faith. I pray. And it's very unnerving and unsettling how the fireball or the devil operates. How they hijack people's identity and put them in poverty. In other words, we dis redistributed the wealth or their credentials so people can be lifted up. I don't think uh, our government was structured that way by the founding fathers, but that's just me, but I digress at this point. I'm getting ready to continue reading from the spiritual warrior called Stu Webert. Um, this is about Ephesians chapter 6, and I will start now. Don't ever get tired of the honor passage in Ephesians chapter 6. Memorize it, live with it, quote it on dark nights when the fiery arrows are flying and on bright blue days when the war seem a thousand miles away. Forgetting this passage would be like falling asleep on guarded duty, the almost unforgivable sin for a spirit warrior. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the scheme of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil days and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having guard your lined with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shrouded your feet with the preparedness of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith, and which you will be able to extinguish all the fiery arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all the prayers and petitions, pray at all times in the Spirit, and with this in view, be on the alert and all preservance and petition for all the saints. The Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 18. Let's take a quick look at the armor as a whole package. We will note right off the top there are six pieces and that its role is primary defensive in nature. We are giving no indication in these verses that we are to go after the devil. No suggestion that we are to become aggressive demon hunters, conducting major anti-demon campaigns or deliverance meetings. No suggestion that we are to speak to his allegiance. No hint that we are to take authority over him. Not the slightest indication of a formula or prayer or a command. Catalog. 
just the armor, which is largely defensive and protective. This is how you dress for success on the battlefield. This is how you beat the devil. This is how you win in the spiritual warfare. This armor uniform was just as familiar to the Ephesian Christians as an NFL uniform is to the football fan today. The Ephesians saw the Roman legions regularly. Paul, a prisoner at the time, was likely chained to a Roman soldier while he was writing these words. The equipped list is derived straight from the Roman infantry equipment. Every legionnaire wore it. It was permanent attires for the soldier. Once, one is never to face life battles without it. One is never to be without it, period. It is like an armored base training. You wear the helmet every day everywhere. It is such a nuisance in the hot Georgia sun, and no one is even shooting at you there. Still, you wear it every day of your training. So, it is in the, the Christian life, every day of your life, you must put on the armor. It is part of who you are. It identifies you. It equips you. Satan is more afraid of the stigma by this magnificent armor than anything else you can be, wear, or do. In this armor, you are to live, to stand, to watch, to never relax your vigilance. This is Shirai.